Thanks for joining us today. I'm Gabe Garish, owner of Backwoods Pursuit, and today we're going to take a look at the Really Right Stuff Cinch Binocular Tripod Adapter. This is the Cinch Polymer version. It also comes in a Cinch Elite version, which is the machined aluminum, uh, but they both function very similar. So, so we're going to take a look at how this thing works, how it functions, the type of binoculars that it works really well with, some of the pros and cons of it as well. As always, really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for us and follow us on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. There's a ton of other gear reviews over there, other binocular tripod adapters, other optics, and all kinds of gear reviews there. So check that out as well as here on the channel. I'll put a link to all that stuff down in the description for you as well as a link to the Really Right Stuff Cinch Binocular Tripod Adapter. Let's jump into the review. All right, to get started, let's take a look at some of the specs here on the Really Right Stuff Cinch Adapter. Again, this is the polymer version, and it's got an Arca Swiss base here, which is really nice. It attach attaches directly to your tripod if you have an Arca tripod, and it is 1.6 ounces for the polymer version. Uh, the Elite version, which is the machined aluminum, is 2.6 ounces, so both of them are super light, but 1.6 is awesome on this. And really, uh, polymer is, is really super strong. I don't think that you would really need necessarily that Elite version, but it is nice to have that extra uh, protection that way, extra durability. Uh, it is a strap style here, and so that's going to work really nice with binoculars that don't have your threaded stud or have the ability to take a threaded stud, which there are a number of nice binoculars out there that don't. So if you have something like the Zeiss Victory SF, they're not threaded for a stud, which makes this type of uh, adapter really, really useful. Your Leica Noctavids are not, uh, also not threaded for studs. So you put them right on there, it works really well. The Leica Trinavid, same thing. And the Koa Genesis uh, 44s here. None of these are uh, threaded for that, that stud, so that's not even an option. Uh, that's where this really comes into play. There are other options as far as you know the big strap style, but this is by far lighter and less bulky. You can leave it on the binoculars here. You just go ahead and stick it right on there strap that on and then that can stay on your binoculars. It can go right in your harness if you use a harness type system. So that's where this really excels. Now just a side note, we've got all of these binoculars as well as a bunch of others, a total of 26 pairs of binoculars that we are comparing side by side, putting them all on, on tripods like this and getting a group of guys to test and rank them all. So make sure that you're subscribed here to the channel as well as over on the website. We're gonna put a bunch of content on both the channel here and the website about all these binoculars and see how they rank side by side, some of the pros and cons and, and whatnot as far as their optical performance, physical features, everything else. So make sure you catch that. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome review, something we've been working on for over a year now. All right, so the way this is gonna work, you're gonna take your strap and you're gonna put it between the two barrels of your binoculars, set it in there nicely, and then it's gonna latch right on there and it's just a quick release uh, up and down just like that. Uh, so it holds it real tight and secure. Now. Uh, you're obviously going to have to make sure that this is, uh, this is adjusted to your specific size of your binocular. But as you can see, it, it's real quick and easy to, to stick it on there and you're ready to go. So it's not real cumbersome to take on and off. But if you don't want to do that, you can pop that off of your tripod. And you can see here it's not overly bulky. It's not going to you know, stick out a whole bunch in your harness. And so you can go ahead and leave it on there if you'd like, if you want to do that and just leave it uh, attached to your binoculars while you have it in your harness. Now, if you need to make a quick adjustment, you can just lift that up and the, the binoculars will turn and whatnot. You can move them farther out if you want a little more snug uh, fit or whatnot, and then just put that right back down and you're all ready to go. It's really a nice, quick, easy system to, to adapt to whatever glassing conditions you're using, and then you're ready to go, ready to glass. Now, this is the Really Right Stuff Ascend tripod. It's an awesome tripod, so if you are in the market for and able to, this is such a stable tripod. It's, of course, very, very expensive because it's such high quality, but man, it is such a stable tripod, right about three pounds uh, with the integrated ball head right here that comes with this particular setup right here. So it's just a fantastic tripod if you're in the market for that and it goes really well with this, with their uh, the cinch binocular tripod adapter here. So it's just a fantastic combination, but you know, something that you gotta save your money for too because it's, it's an expensive tripod, but really, really nice. All right, now some of the pros and cons of the Cinch LR here from Really Right Stuff. It, pros here, it is easy to use. It is 
really quick and easy you can grab it and like we showed earlier in a matter of a few seconds just get that thing locked in and you're ready to go with your your binoculars uh, it's also inexpensive compared to some of the more expensive ones out there you know there's some out there that are that are quite a lot more uh, this is $39.99 at most places, whereas you can spend well over $100 on a lot of the other adapters out there. So it's really nice that way. It's really stable. Of course, it's latching on to the, the biggest part of your binocular, so it is really rock solid that way. Works really, really well. Uh, you do have a little bit of an adjustment there. So the first and second time you use it, you might have to make a, a little adjustment there. Uh, at first, that can be a little bit annoying, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's really quick and easy to do that with that buckle there. Um, I do like here just how, how slim it is for this style of adapter. It's not quite as slim as your Swarovski SLC type adapter or the Outdoorsman, uh, something that fits right in, the, in between the barrels here of your binocular. But a lot of these don't have that option. So when you've got uh, the strap options are, are your options, you've got something like this or that big uh, rubber band style strap. And I'm not really a huge fan of those. They're kind of bulky and kind of heavy. And so this will fit right in the, the you can use it one of two ways here. You can throw it right in the, the pocket of your hip belt of your, of your pack, or you can just throw it on here, leave it on here, and it's not so bulky that you can't take it off here and then you know, throw it in your, in your bino harness. It'll fit right there in your bino harness pretty easily. It works that way too, depending on what harness you're using the course and how much, how much uh, space you have there. So really quick, off and on, easy. It's really nice and lightweight, 1.6 ounces is awesome on this thing as well. So there's not a lot of cons I've got over it other than, you know, it, this, the style that it is, is the functionality and the purpose that it is built for is awesome. If you like the center stud style, obviously this is not gonna be something that's, that's gonna be as much interest for you, but it's no less solid than those other styles either. And, and it adapts to pretty much any binocular that you can find out there. I haven't found one yet that it doesn't work for, so. Uh, it's a great little adapter, super lightweight and inexpensive too, which is fantastic. So that is a quick rundown of the Really Right Stuff Cinch Binocular Tripod Adapter. This is the LR Polymer version. It's a great little adapter and works really, really well. I'll put a link to this down in the description, as well as a link to the Really Right Stuff Ascend Tripod here. It's an awesome, awesome tripod. Put a link to those down in the description, as well as a link to all these binoculars we looked at here today real quick in demonstrating this. And drop any questions or comments there for us. We'd love to answer them for you. Let's see if we can help you out and point you in the right direction on an adapter. Thanks for watching here today. We'll see you next time.